10 Ancient Tech That Will Blow Your Mind You're about to be stunned when you learn about all the technological wonders of today that actually trace back to the ancient world. We're talking ancient, as in the days when Jesus walked the earth, and even to the Bronze Age, when mankind was first using metals. Fast forward to our modern day, and these archaeological discoveries still leave scientists perturbed. From revolutionary lost technologies that are hard to replicate even today to technological fundamentals of yester millennial that provide the state-of-the-art advancements of today. Here are 10 ancient tech that will blow your mind. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Best of Tens. In chronological order of the countdown, we'll go start at 70 AD. Number 10. Ancient Automated Doors Heron of Alexandria was a Greek mathematician and engineer who took the safety of a door and made it into a grand item of luxury and innovation. He devised a hydraulic contraption which relied on heavy water displacement that could automatically move doors made of bronze and marble. With pivots at the tops and bottoms in order to make the move, brass pots would act as weights attached to a pulley system, with fire being used to expand the air inside the pots. Water was forced into containers that would descend to drag the pulley ropes and open the heavy doors. To confirm its affluence during the time, archaeologists have discovered these ancient automated doors within important Greek temples in Alexandria as well as inside more affluent homes of the period. With every great invention, there was a setback, however, due to the massive amount of effort and energy to actually move the doors. The ancient elite would open and close these doors once a day. Number 9. Rust-Free Iron Pillar of Delhi For number 9, we take you to one of the most powerful emperors of the Gupta Empire in northern India, who ruled from 380 to 415 AD. King Chandra Gupta II shows us that although Harry Brearley invented stainless steel in 1913, anti-rust iron was being molded into pillars 1700 years ago. To see this paramount ancient technology, head to In Kutub Minar in Delhi, India. There stands an iron pillar that has remained rust-free for over 1,600 years. This solid iron pillar extends 7.2 meters high, has a 16-inch diameter, and an inscription that commemorates the victory of King Chandragupta II. After elemental analysis, data revealed that the pillar had undergone a three-phase process which created a thin protective coating over the pillar. This surface layer is oxidized which laminates or protects the iron pillar underneath from rusting. Number 8. Roman Concrete Let's get in the DeLorean and head back in time, 2,100 years ago. There we can witness the largest construction using some of the best concrete our world has ever seen. Its Latin name is Opus Cementitium, but we'll simply call it Roman Concrete. This innovative material was developed and used in the construction of ancient behemoths such as the Pantheon and the Colosseum. The clever Romans mixed limestone with volcanic ash to form a mortar which would be packed with chunks of brick or volcanic tuff to form the basic material for roads, bridges, buildings, aqueducts, and other structures. You surely remember the phrase, all roads lead to Rome. And if you're a history buff, or at least paid attention in some history classes, you'll remember that one of the main reasons Rome was so powerful was due to their military mobility via aforementioned roads, bridges, buildings, and even aqueducts. Now, it's true that this concrete is weaker than mixes we can make today. Nonetheless, analysis in your own eyes proves that Roman concrete is incredibly long-lasting. Number 7. Greek Fire Here's an absolute marvel. Let's go to the inventors of Greek fire. So we'll be taking a close look at the Byzantine Greeks in the 7th century AD, where Greek fire was an incendiary weapon used to ignite enemy ships. Similar to modern napalm, the Byzantines used Greek fire both on land and at sea. But since sailors had no earth to put out fires in the middle of the sea, Greek fire was especially effective as sailors kept feeding the flames by dousing it with more water. This mysterious ancient chemistry provided a technological advantage that led to many Byzantine military victories, which resulted in the legend and longevity of the empire's survival. Number 6. Ancient Vending Machine 
In the days of ancient Egypt, Alexandria was the capital of ingenuity like Silicon Valley is today. So, would you believe that this ancient city had devices for convenience and commercialism that we call vending machines today? That's right, vending machines actually existed over 2,000 years ago. The idea came from the aforementioned Greek mathematician and engineer Heron of Alexandria, among his numerous inventions, one being the first wind harnessing device, and another being Heron's mathematical triangle formula. Proper respect goes to Heron again as he invented the first vending machine. Now don't go thinking they had a Snickers chocolate bar or a bag of Doritos and some Hawaiian punch. These early machines simply dispensed holy water in the temples of Thebes and Upper Egypt. This holy water was strictly used to wash the face and hands before entering the temples. They were placed at the entrance and after paying five drachma coins, a scale measured the weight of the coin, causing it to dip down and open the water valve. Number 5. Viking Compass in its original native vernacular, it is called the Veg Visir. It is also known as the Runic Compass. But today, we just like calling it the Viking Compass. It is made of a symbol containing eight Viking rune staves. This symbol was used for protection and it was used as a compass with extraordinary accuracy. Upon studying the etymology of the word Veg Visir, one discovers that it actually means wayfinder and signpost in the Icelandic tongue. While there is no certain knowledge of the Vegvisir's origins, historians and archaeologists concur that the Vegvisir was used for navigational purposes by the Vikings. The eight rune staves correspond to the cardinal and intercardinal directions. It's always been part of Viking folklore, with some legends depicting the wayfinder drawn on Viking ships. Number 4. Hu Feng Didong Yi Make no mistake about it, earthquakes account for the majority of deaths from a range of natural disasters. As a matter of fact, earthquakes cause the demise of 60,000 people per year. So, since earthquake detection technology is a vital tool that can save lives, it is quite impressive to know that our ancestors had the technology 2,000 years ago in ancient China. Way back then, a seismoscope scope like device known as the Ho Feng Didong Yi was used, proven effective, and recorded in history. The creator was an inventor, astronomer, engineer, scientist, scholar, and artist named Zhang Heng. He is also considered the Chinese Leonardo da Vinci. This giant jar-shaped device had a diameter of 6 feet, was made of bronze, and could register earthquakes from hundreds of kilometers away. An earthquake would cause the device to topple in the direction of the seismic shock, therefore indicating the direction of the seismic activity through a bronze ball that gets pushed into motion. Number 3. Baghdad Battery 2,000 years ago, the ancients already possessed the basic elements of clay and copper to produce light bulbs. Do we dare say aliens gave them this knowledge? The Baghdad Battery, also known as the Parthian Battery, was discovered in 1983 in an area outside of Baghdad. The clay jar reveals a copper cylinder and an iron rod. When a weak acid like citric acid or vinegar is poured into the clay jar, one volt of electricity could be generated. Complete origins and applications of the discovery remain cloaked in mystery. So, that unknown provides more intrigue as to our ancient ancestors' technological capabilities. And it begs the question, who taught them? Number 2. Aeola Pile Here's a story about how the ancient's luxurious toy became one of today's most important power generators. And it's another invention by the great Heron of Alexandria. It's called the Aeola Pile or Steam Turbine. In the first century AD, it was just a hollow sphere mounted in a way that could turn on a pair of hollow tubes that provided steam to the sphere from a hot cauldron. Steam would escape from the bent tubes, which would cause the device to revolve at high speeds. The Yoli Pile was a novelty device during its time. Laughingly, it was merely used mostly to entertain political elites. But in modern times, we surely understand the value of this invention. Number 1. Antikythera Mechanism 
The Antikythera mechanism is a device that experts believe used to be part of an ancient analog computer with bronze components. The device would display celestial time using planets as a guide as it replicated the motions of the solar system. It was dubbed the Antikythera mechanism since it was discovered on the unique Greek island of Antikythera in 1901. The Antikythera mechanism was found preserved among other ancient artifacts of a sunken wreckage from 2,200 years ago. To this day, scholars continue to study this artifact to gain definite insight on this paramount ancient mystery. Perhaps this invention can unlock more details about the questions that have been boggling humankind since our origins. Why are we here? And where did we come from? Which of these inventions shocked you the most? Comment down below, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share this video. We'll see you on the next video from Best of Tens.